The farm boy. A farm boy accidentally overturned his wagon load of corn in the road. The farmer who lived nearby came to see what had happened. Hey boy, he called out. Forget your trouble for a moment and come on in and have dinner with us. Then I will help you get the wagon up. That is very nice of you, the boy answered. But I don't think Pa would like me to do it. Oh, come on, son, the farmer insisted. Well, okay, the boy finally agreed. But Pa won't like it. After a hearty dinner, the boy thanked his host. I feel a lot better now, but I know Pa is going to be upset. I don't think so, said the neighbor. By the way, where is your Pa? He is under the wagon. Short story. A group of frogs. A group of frogs were traveling through the woods, and two of them fell into a deep pit. When the other frogs saw how deep the pit was, they told the two frogs that they were as good as dead. The two frogs ignored the comments and tried to jump up out of the pit with all their might. The other frogs kept telling them to stop, that they were as good as dead finally. One of the frogs took heed to what the other frogs were saying and gave up. He fell down and died. The other frog continued to jump as hard as he could. Once again, the crowd of frogs yelled at him to stop the pain, and just die. he jumped even harder, and finally made it out. When he got out, the other frogs said, Did you not hear us? The frog explained to them that he was deaf. He thought they were encouraging him the entire time. This story teaches to lessons. There is power of life and death in the tongue. An encouraging word to someone who is down can lift them up and help them make it through the day. A destructive word to someone who is down can be what it takes to kill them so. Be careful of what you say. Short story. Donkey and well. A farmer had an old donkey, which fell into a dry well accidentally. The farmer tried hard, but he could not pull the donkey out. Therefore he and other villagers decided to load the well with dust so that the poor beast would die quicker and be released. People poured dust on his head by buckets. But each time the donkey shook the dust off his body and piled it up beneath his feet and placed himself above that, the villagers continued burying the poor donkey alive and the donkey continued climbing up the dust pile. Finally it reached the entrance of the well and exited. Life's problems are poured on our head like a pile of dust and we usually have only two options. Either we can let the problems bury us alive, or we can use them as a platform to ascent.